Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the WWTS. We're the facts. Today, I'm show I'm Mike C. And I'm Fred Wise. And today, we're going to review something called Beat Time. Yeah. Now, before we start talking about it, as always, we give it our rating. Mike, what do you give Beat Time? I give Beat Time a 4 out of 5, Fred. Right? Uh, I'm going to give Beat Time a 5 out of 5. Uh, Mike, why do you give it 4? I don't know, Fred. I just want to pick four. Um, I give it a four out of five. We just had a little bit of technical difficulties, you know, setting that on up. Just got to make sure that, uh, you know, as far as, uh, of course, somebody joining you makes it more fun. Uh -huh. But just the experience that they have for it, um, you know, it opens up a lot of possibilities to get some uh, experience in the social space and, and uh, environments. I appreciated that as far as, you know, the sound and everything of different environments that you could pick. And uh, just have a good time. You can be talking with your friends, or you can do it for business type of purposes mm -hmm. as well too. So it's a lot of positive things about that. I just wish I just wish the graphics were just a little bit more crisp. Mm -hmm. That's just me. But uh, other than that, man, it's awesome. All right, now this is in its uh, infancy stage, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, before I start talking about it, now Microsoft had planned on doing something like this a while ago. Okay. And uh, this was actually going to be on the 360, mm -hmm. and it was much yes. like what V-Time yes. is now. I remember that, yeah. With the avatars, and you be able to speak, mm -hmm. because on the Xbox 360, you could watch, like, Netflix movies together and yep. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about V-Time. And the reason why I give it a 5 out of 5, and uh, also it's available on the Oculus Rift. It's available on Google uh, Magic Room, I believe, mm -hmm. um, Google Cardboard. And it's available on the HTC Vive. Now, you can't directly download it from the uh, HTC Vive. You have to get an Oculus account, um, download it, mm -hmm. and then download a, a program called Revive. Mm -hmm. And I'll put the description in the link. And then from uh, your Steam OS, uh, from Steam VR, you launch Revive, which uh, be at, like at the bottom of the screen. You know if you got a uh, Vive. And then you launch uh, the app V Time, but I think, like I say, it's in this infancy stage, okay. right? So I know the graphics are going to get better okay. because um, I, I got to tell you, I just stumbled upon this because now that I'm able to play the vibe, um, a lot of stuff opening up for you. I was like, well, there's not that many real good games and real good experiences uh -huh. on the vibe right now. So then I just stumbled upon this V Time. Uh -huh. And I downloaded it, I downloaded uh, Revive, and I was able to uh, play it. I, I started at 9 o'clock that night, yep. and I didn't get off of V-Time until like 5 o'clock that morning. Wow. And that's the whole time with the headset on. And it got real uncomfortable, let me tell you that. got real uncomfortable at the time. But you can go to different spaces. You know, there's one there's one of these spaces that you could go to where you're on this this cliff, and mm -hmm. you're looking down, and you yeah. see the eagle down. soaring, yeah. and then there's an underwater one, and then there's a boardroom. Spaceships on top of the Earth. Oh, yeah, the, the spaceships, and you're yeah. out in space. Uh, yeah. And it's really fun, and you can connect up to three other people can be in the room. Mm -hmm. And especially if you got on the Oculus or the uh, HTC Vive, when you move your head, the um, okay. your avatar moves the head, too. Mm -hmm. And there's an app that you can do on your computer where you can move your head by uh, clicking the mouse up and down or moving the mouse up and down and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But I, I think it's a real good app. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the way of the future. Right. Like businesses are going to start getting into this virtuality where they have like business conferences. Mm -hmm. And instead of me having to fly all the way to Japan, I can put on a virtual headset be and right be in a boardroom. Mm -hmm. With other advertisers, and I wouldn't have to leave. I mean, that's going to hurt the the flight industry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you don't have to travel right. that far. Right. You know. But I think it's a a great social media app. Okay. You know. And if you have any of the uh, the ones that I I mentioned, Google Cardboard, Oculus, HTC Vive. Um, hopefully, they put this on a PlayStation. Uh, mm -hmm. Get it and download it, man. And um, you you have wonderful experience now. There's a couple of jerks that's in here, like always, with these apps, man. And um, you you can have a lot of fun with this thing. I like it. I like it a lot, man. Well, okay, it's good. Five for Fred, four for me. You know the reason why I gave it four. 
Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, like always, you guys can hit us up at thegameshowgmail.com. And that's the Game Show with an A. Don't forget to head to the store where you can pick up uh, products that we have for a low, low price. As well as, don't forget to hit that V-Time. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, just have a little social media, you know? Yeah. Alright. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks, join our SteamWorks community, and our website community where you can get some free stuff. We'll see you next time on WWTF. What the facts? The game show. See you next time. Keep on watching. Tune in.